Hey right, guys, this is going to be a little Minecraft video here because as you saw, maybe if you watched it, uh, a different world of mine got corrupted. So that's fun. <laughs> uh, that, that sucks. Anyway, look at this. This is a new house that I've been working on for a little while. So here it is. As you can see, I mean, like, I already have a video of this house before I put in all these dispensers and everything, but I don't know if I'm going to upload it or not. So, yeah. Anyway, I don't know if I'm going to upload it. If I do, it's not going to be edited. It's just going to be the raw file. Because I found out that when when you, uh, what the heck, when you import it to iMovie, it, uh, some, I don't know what it does, but it, it takes the uh, the 11 gigabyte file, right? And then it, it makes it 46 or some, something gigabyte. So it sucks. So I'm not, I'm going to be uh, actually exporting the videos in 1080p from QuickTime from now on so it doesn't freaking do that anymore. So hopefully they'll take up 2 or 3 gigabytes rather than 11 to 46. Anyway, as you just saw, I set up a TNT thing and we're going to show you that this is bomb or TNT proof. There you go. The only thing I have left to uh, make TNT proof is the ceiling, the roof. But I can't build any higher than this. At least I don't think I can. Let's see. Nope, I'm at the height limit. So yeah, basically what I did was I took a bedrock and sandwiched it between the uh, cobblestone and then a layer of stone on the outside to make it look nice. So that's, yeah. Oh. Also, I found like, I don't know what it is. I, I freaking don't know. It's kind of funny. It looks like a village to me, but I don't know. What's time set night? So here's these uh, beacons here. I don't really know how to use them. I mean, like, I know you can use them for something useful, but right now I'm just using them to indicate that this is where my house is. Like, this this one's actually the only one that's really built correctly. Or the only one that... The pyramid that's built correctly. The rest of them just have a 3x3. Three three. But I actually built this one correctly. I got the instructions from the Minecraft wiki. That place is awesome. I think it's minecraft.gamepedia.com. I don't know. I'll put the link in the description. But, um, here... I don't exactly know what it does. I don't know how to use them. Ooh. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm going to go try to find that thing now, and I'm going to put it in fast motion while I do that. this place is I mean like it looks like a village to me but I don't know there's a crap ton of villagers in here I actually spawned some spawn villager diamond hoe potatoes then an ender chest in here baby villagers <laughs> okay and then here this staircase wasn't here before so I put it there because there was never anyone in this house, but now, as you can see, this villager is just, I don't know, it just stays here. I don't know. I guess he just likes to live alone. There's a crafting table in here. And pretty nice tables and chairs, I guess. Looks, It's a pretty cool house. And I had to put these iron bars here because they would keep falling. Looks like they still can. Maybe I should put some more there. Uh, oops. Oh crap, huh? Screwed it up now. Look what I did. Oops. Don't want to do that. But I do want to do that. There we go. Now they won't be able to just walk and fall off. I mean, like, I know they can still fall off over here. 
but really you can't exactly get hurt like that. I mean, like, maybe if you, if you maybe fill off here, but anyway. Little gardens here, a beacon that I put there, and then another beacon on top of the well. And the well is actually very, very deep. <laughs> put some glowstone down here, and then, like, it, it's pretty, pretty freaking deep, <laughs> but, yeah. So I guess that's really it for the village, or whatever this place is. There's only two houses. So I'm just going to slash kill and go back to my house so I can get there faster. Because I wake up in this bed here. Anyway, oh, I guess we're inside now. <laughs> that was not supposed to still be on. Anyway, here's this place. I've got this, and these were ac actually made by accident in the crafting table where I was making them. I actually did shift click and they all freaking went down there. <coughs> that was when it was in survival and I used the slash give command. That's for something I'll show you in a minute. Anyway, I'm gonna turn the sound up once I get outside so you can hear this is a doorbell. You ready? You might not have been able to hear that, and that is really glitchy for some reason, I don't know. There's one of them, it's on a piano tone, and uh, you know what, I'm fine, I guess I'll show you what's in here. You see this, it's all dark, now watch. Oops, I missed it. Watch when they turn off. Did you, say they, did you see that they all turned off in a series? Like, they all shut off, like delayed after each other? I'll show you why that happened in a minute just have to show you what the heck is over here first. As you can see, it's now nether brick. <laughs> it's a pool. This is actually the community pool for when I put the apartment building in here, which I plan on doing. And then in here is a kiddie pool, which I can show you. Oops, crap. That's what happens when you only buy a 128 gigabyte Mac. <laughs> Startup disk is almost full. I, I gotta find a way to get some crap off of there. I don't know. The startup disk is Macintosh SSD. I guess it's not HD because it's not a hard drive. It's an SSD. Any freaking way. Wait a minute. What screen is this recording to? I really hope it's recording to this screen. Eh, live them in. I don't care. Anyway, back here. Turn off the light. Now, I will show you... I actually need to turn on the, the x-ray texture pack. There we go. So you can see past the acacia wood tunnel here. Now look. Except you can't see them because the freaking lights aren't on. Oh, this is not going very well right now. I'm sorry. Where's the door? There it is. On. You can see the redstone signal for the uh, uh, doorbell, which I'll show you in a minute. Anyway, here we go. You see there's a redstone repeater on top of every light set to zero ticks. So it activates fast and shuts off fast, but it still is delayed. And you can see that storage room down there. That I'll show you that later. But then here it turns to nether brick because that's what you can actually see. That's what the building for the pool is made out of. And there's the kiddie pool. One redstone lamp for that. And there's the lamp circuit. I put the I put the lever on the ceiling because I felt like it. Because I didn't want to go through the trouble of making a little platform thing. Because you can't put redstone on walls as of right now without a mod. And I'm just too lazy to install a mod. So, yeah. Here we go. Can, oh, it was so good. Alright, oh, crap, crap, lag. Alright, alright, all right, back to this. I am, alright, I'm, oh, crap, I, I really need to find a way to uh, get some crap off my Mac because it actually cancelled the, uh, screen recording after the frick, I think, ten minutes. So, yeah, that sucks. But we're gonna read this book I wrote called Food is Awesome. Go ahead, pause to read that, and, yeah. It's a pretty freaking awesome book, huh? 
Alright, anyway. I don't have much. I'm just trying to recreate the old world. Got the enchantment room in here. That does nothing anymore. What what that used to be for... Oops, wrong button. <laughs> Why am I such a noob? This is not... Actually, it is kind of funny. You know what? There needs to be... You, can, you should be able to edit signs without having to take them down. Unless there is a way, and I'm just being a complete noob. Any freaking way. That's ender chest back there, and there used to be a piston that was controlled by the switch that was in there. That's what I've got in there. I got actually got that emerald from a villager. Anyway, let's go down here. Freaking huge underground mansion. Let's jump down this hole. There we go. We got this room. We go down here. Carpeted room. Here's a fireplace. Fireplace. And then this is a wood room. Trying to create the old one again. Acacia wood in the middle and then oak. And then this is going to be an acacia wood room in here. Here's a self-lighting fireplace. Now even farther down, we got this gigantic room. Now all our oh crap, I forgot all these rooms. Shut up, Fred. All these rooms have controllable lights. Anyway, um, yeah. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go up here, maybe. So here's this. There's a hole in the ceiling somewhere. At least I think. Oh crap, where did it go? Oh, oh, there it is. Okay. This used to be a pit to the void from outside. Except one thing. This room is here now. So I, I was originally just going to have it keep going down and have just like a huge pillar in the middle here. But I decided to drop that idea. And as you can see, there is no pole in the middle. There's just a redstone lamp here now that I can actually use redstone lamps. Actually, you know what? I want to change that. Blaze powder. Because that looks like fire. Yeah. Anyway. Look at this. This is a pool, okay? Huge, gigantic, personal pool. Looks like we got some moving water. I'll fix that. Also, I just ex I exported the other one, and it didn't even take up a gigabyte exporting it properly. It was taking up about 11 gigabytes before, but now it's barely taking up anything. So, woohoo. Oh yeah, you guys are probably wondering what I'm talking about. Well, you know, I use um, FaceTime, or fail, QuickTime for my screen recording software because it's a good screen recorder and not exporting it properly it takes up around 11 gigabytes for the raw file then when iMovie imports it for some reason it goes up to 45 to 46 but now exporting it regularly at 1080p it takes up around less than a gigabyte so yeah now back to the regular video any freaking way there's the pool there there's these signs here b stands for block so this is two blocks deep Three, four, five, and six right here, which I haven't labeled yet. There used to be some on this wall, but I wanted to make the pool wider, so I took them out. I'm going to put them back once I'm done with the pool, though. And if you remember, maybe if you saw it, I don't know, but I put a diving board in my other pool from my world that got corrupted. Um, and there was a waterfall. I'm going to do that in this pool, too, just on a way freaking bigger scale. And someone is playing the piano. Alright, we have come to the final part of the tour here. A cave system. That's freaking right. So, this is a pretty big cave system. Now, what was kind of funny? Here, I'll show you. Once I get there... There's this lava pond, and then the redstone, and then... Not over here, but it's... Actually, yeah, it is. Huh, fail. 
I'm planning on putting a garden in here, like I had in my old world. Except this is a way bigger cave set. Yeah, I did go the wrong way. Uh, whoopsie. But, yeah, I went the right way from there. You just, you just have to go up here. All right, you see this waterfall? That was naturally there, except I replaced it, and here's why. You see here? Maybe. There's bedrock right there. And I just gotta make your Alright, it's out of bedrock. This is why. Are you ready for this? That's why. There's a sheep swimming. But that's why I put that there, because this is a thing. It's just a lake that was feeding that water supply. But I just I like the waterfall. But I couldn't have it actually going out there, so yeah. Same with this one. This one was going out to the thing too. So I, again, did the same thing. So, I actually found a diamond in here. I'm gonna try to explore and find that. There's some gold. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna explore this whole cave. I've already explored most of it. But I'm going to explore it in a separate video. And as for the video that I was going to do this summer on the other cave system, probably not going to happen. I can actually give you an update on that world. It's screwed up pretty bad. Yeah. I haven't labeled any of the rooms yet. There's going to be an ice skating rink down here, possibly. Probably in the same room as this. I'll probably just expand back here, then build it. So, before I end the video... I will show you, this was the world that I first began with, first world ever, it's kind of sad that it got corrupted, see it crashes, there then it comes back, it takes freaking forever to build the terrain, you see this, there's just nothing, you move around a little bit, and there's the terrain, you see this, you see this crap, it, it's building it faster than it was before, also, Hallelujah, yay, the doors don't freaking open automatically all the time. And they do sometimes, but not all the time. Also, the switches, the levers, don't always work, but it seems to be working pretty well now. Whoa, what the... What the heck? Ah! Huh, it just disappeared. Alright, that's this is just really, really screwed up here. You can't, sometimes it won't even let you go past the door. It's kind of annoying. Here, let's have a moment of truth here. Hey, it worked. Oh, yeah, I can go in this time. Yeah. Yeah, see what I mean? The switches don't always work. I don't know. Something went wrong with this world. I can show you what I meant about the uh, garden, though. At least there's a sheep. <laughs> I sheared it. Or sh I don't know. Anyway. Garden. Got mushrooms. In the underground garden, which appears to be open already. See, it, it, they work. It's just really, really laggy. Doesn't even look like it's working at all now. Oh, well. Oh, crap. There it goes again. Have fun with that. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to start a new clip here. I'm gonna have to find a way to fix this. I'm gonna start a new clip here. Alright, I'm here now for what should be the final clip of the video, if all goes well. The sound was turned down. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. I haven't really gone exploring here in a while. Uh, there's the bedrock. Alright, I knew that was here somewhere. I mean, like, this is the bedrock that I found in, when, it, when it was a survival world. And when I was digging back here, I found these freaking chickens. Like, what the heck? Actually, I think I was digging back there, and then I ran into that, and I was like, where the heck am I? And then I was like, oh, hey, I'm here. Sweet. Actually, it, it sucked, actually. So, mm -hmm. so this world, this place is actually really close to the void, as you might have seen in a different video if you watched it. Hey, it opened back up. All right. <coughs> Let's see. Cactus. That. 
this is what I was trying to do. Alright, yep, I was back here. Or oh, crap, wrong way, huh? Crap, where? I'm using a trackpad right now because I don't care. Alright, there we go. I don't remember where it was. I don't really care right now either. Anyway, in here I've got a little oak sapling, or dark oak sapling. I'm trying to grow it. Then I've got nether wart back here. It grew pretty well, it looks like. And, uh, that's, that's all there is in the underground part. Except for dispenser, what the heck is in there? Come on. Alright, doesn't look like that's gonna work. It looks like that might be corrupted. And that kind of sucks. Let's see if I can... Can I open the chest? Crap! Crap, forgot to turn on Do Not Disturb. Looks like I can't open the chest. Can't open the ender chest. Oh, that's great. <laughs> There's another fire in here. This was a huge lava pond, but there it's covered now. So, I don't really care. Crap, I hope I can actually open something. Because if I can't open any of the chests, that's not, that's not cool. Never mind. See that door? It, it, the automatic doesn't work anymore. Which is this? The, yeah, that one was flipped. Okay. All went not freaking well. Uh, so annoying sometimes, you know. Tip of the day by DSM by a Mac at least bigger than 128 gigabytes or you will be annoyed like I am and crap might happen actually that might happen with any Mac yeah nothing nothing works you know it, this is crappy automatic is screwed you know what happened actually since I don't know what happened the corrupt caused so much lag sometimes when the piston opens the water doesn't go down Really weird. Really weird. Well, there you go. I can't go in there. Crappy. It doesn't always save either. Ugh. It's just this world is so screwed up. I have no idea. Well, actually, I do know what happened to it, but... I didn't know it was this freaking bad, not allowing me to open chests. That's, that's like not even cool. I can't enchant anything either. Can I build? Yeah, I can build. Well, life lesson. Don't hard shut down your Mac or any computer while you're playing Minecraft or, or Minecraft is open. Because this may happen to you, and you don't want that. Furnaces don't work. Crafting cable don't work. Lost my, f lost my firework. Gosh dang it! And there went the right click. Oh, I can't get in there now. That's beautiful. What the frick? Did you see that? I'm back here. It warped me back here. Did you see that? That wasn't video editing. That was legit. That's not cool. You see, and it... It did it again! Alright, well... Keep inventory true... Nothing. There we go. Here. And here comes, there it goes. Hey, look at that. We've got it, oh, there, it's gone. At least the lights are on now. See, it didn't save. Those things are back. I never put them back. Huh, maybe I can open the chest now.
Yay! I can open the chest now. <clears throat> this sounds a little laggy, but... Yeah, did you see how to put the door back? I don't know. I don't know, guys. Nope, spoke too soon. You can't open the chest. Oh, yeah, you can. This is going in my inventory. Let's see if you can still light it off. Dang it. Well, I'm going to have to recreate that in my new world. Ooh. Lots and lots of lag, but it happened. Look at that. They're not exploding. That's pathetic. That's kind of funny, though. They shouldn't be flying. I wonder what would happen if I did that outside. Here, can I center click on it? Nope, just get stoned. That's... Yep. And I bet if I even save and quit the title, it's not going to freaking do anything. Oh, it did. Okay, it saved. Well, I guess I got to go recreate that in this world. Except it's going to lag for a minute. There we go. But that is it, so thank you for watching. Hey guys, one more thing I ridiculously crappily forgot to mention. The pool you saw in my new world, which is awesome. That pool is awesome. I have an awesome update in a video that I haven't filmed yet, but I, I added some stuff to it. You, you guys will just have to wait till the next creative video to see that any freaking way. Um, this pool started off as this little underground spring you see right here. So that's, yeah, that is, <laughs> that's what it started as. So as always, thank you for watching. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And yep, that is it. So thank you for watching and here's the outro.